Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Grab your coffee. Come and join me and let's do some crafting today. We're going to be making a shabby chic, vintage style wooden angel. So if uh, that's your jam, come on and join me. Hello, everybody. And if you're watching and you don't see that red light button up in their corner, that means you're watching on the replay. And if you are, if you could just put in the comments, hashtag replay so I know you're watching and I can say hello to you. And if you're new, let me know that too so I can welcome you to our page. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Yesterday's Tomorrow's. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope you had a blessed evening last night and you're going to have a blessed day today. Hello, everybody. Let me just pull you up there. I see myself. Okay, I can see the comments better. Hello, Dawn. Hello, my Jersey girl, Janice. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Pam. Hello, Marlene. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. What did I do here? Okay, there we go. Hello, Lisa Hawkins. Good morning, guys. All right, well, let me show you what we're going to do today. I'm so excited. Um, I got some happy mail in the mail the other day, some beautiful decoupage papers that we're going to use today. Hello, Chris. Thank you so much for Sparky and Jody Smith and Mary Harris, our fancy friend. All right, so let me show you these beautiful guys. These, I hope the camera does these justice. Good morning, Deanna. Good morning, Angie. Um, these are by, this, you can purchase these on All Paint Products and they're AB Studio um, rice papers. But let me show you what makes them special. Can you guys see, look at the gold, the, see? They've got gold in them. <laughs> hello, Ka Kathy Gibson, hello, Doni, hello, Kathy. <gasps> look guys, can you see the gold that's in there? Aren't they stunning? I'm telling you, the camera does not do it justice. If you purchase these and you get them home, you'd be like, OMG. So hello. Hello, with Kindle Blessings. Hello, Beth, my sweet friend. How are you doing, honey? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hello, Mary, Ocean Breeze, and me. And Craft Therapy by Puddly Fa Puddle by Farm. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Jennifer. All right, so look at that, guys. And now this one, too. Look at, look. can you see? Um. Go with the light so you can see there is gold leafing in the paper. OMG, right? Aren't they gorgeous? They are so pretty. So, so pretty. Yes, thank you guys. And guys, all my sweet crafting friends, if you don't haven't followed them yet and they're putting their um, business page in there, go follow them. They are amazing and they're all good sweet friends of mine and I would appreciate it if you go check out their page and follow them. Yay! All right, so we're going to be using these two and they are by AB, AB Studios, guys. All right, so one's going to be the wings and one's... Oh, let me show you what, what we're going to be putting them on first. I'm so excited about the papers. Hello, Carol and Ellen. How are you? Look, we have a wooden angel that we are going to attach... The wings are backwards, there we go. And we're gonna attach the wings too, right? So isn't she gonna be pretty with those papers on them? I thought they're gonna be gorgeous. Hello, Carol and Ellen. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, so let's get a coat up. Now, anytime you do decoupage, guys, you know you need to paint the um, the bottom a light color. So we're using by Pink Couture Italian Ivory. And that's my, this is my favorite paint company. I use the decoupage mediums too. And this is where you find these papers also. Oh, hello, Kathy Fuller. How are you? Thanks for joining today, guys. Oh, that one, I didn't kind of clean so well. Still a little stiff. All right, so let's get a coat of paint on here and then we can attach these papers. But I, guys, ah, I'm telling you, it, the, the camera does not do them justice. When I received them the other day, I'm like, OMG. They're just stunning, 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 stunning. All right, so let's get a, just a coat of our... Now remember, when you're putting it down for decoupage, guys, it doesn't have to be a perfect coat. It doesn't have to cover up everything totally perfect. The brush strokes doesn't matter. <laughs> you're just covering it up with paper, but you just want a white background just so your beautiful papers pop, that's all. Hello, Betty! Hope we're staying warm. Yes, in New Jersey here, we're staying warm until tomorrow. Well, not warm. We're staying okay. It's it's cold. It's 19 degrees this morning here in New Jersey, but um, we're getting a bad storm tomorrow. And um, what's worse about it, it's an ice storm. So oh, ice is worse than snow. Hello, Lulabelle's Hot Mess Creations. How are you, sweet friend? Thanks for joining. Got a lot of my crafting sisters on with me today. Thanks so much, guys, for popping in. I so appreciate each and every one of you. I know everybody's everybody's busy and 
Um, we all don't get to pop on each other's pages as often as we would like. Um, so I appreciate it. It's hard sometimes, guys. I try to get on, you know, I try to follow all my Crafting Sisters pages and pop on when I can. But um, sometimes, boy, you get so busy. <laughs> you don't, before you know it, you you know, you do your lives and everything else and your business, your back-end business stuff, and you don't get a chance. So um, I apologize. You're, oh, you're getting the same thing in Pennsylvania, Kathy. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bad storm. So batten down the hatches, especially when it's ice. You can't drive in the ice. You gotta stay home because um, you have no control over your car in the ice. Snow a little bit more than ice. So let's see. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. And guys, if you would do me a big favor, just in case some of our um, Fancy friends, did not get my notifications from Telegram that I'm on. Could you please um, pop the hearts up like it's 4th of July? And, um, and hopefully, we will come into their feed and they will be able to join us. Because Mr. FB hasn't been so kind um, giving notifications to some of our fancy friends. So if you would mind putting that popping the hearts up, I would appreciate it. Hello, good morning, Brooklyn and Debbie. How are you ladies this morning? I hope you got your coffee. I hope you guys, some of you are still in your PJs and um, just relaxing and come and join me for some crafting fun from Craft Around the Clock. And if you're new to the page and you don't know about Craft Around the Clock, it's a, it's a community where you can watch us 24 seven. Go join the Craft Around the Clock group. It's a free group. And you can join us 24-7. Where did I get my angel from? Um, it's a company called Craft Deals. D-E-A-L-Z. Craft Deals. Um, I purchased this last year, those guys. I did not get it this year. So I cannot be certain that they, um, they have it this year. It was last year, but they might have it this year, but it's Craft Deals. Yes, like Jackie said, try to, if you're in the, the path, it's a nor'easter that's coming up the coast. And if you're in the path of the nor'easter, if you s try to just stay home, do not drive in it. I would hate to see something happen to any one of you. So, Mary, you're watching my tree go around. Mary, hopefully keep watching. You will see your ornament come around. Um, hmm. It should be coming around shortly, Mary. <laughs> Hi, Diane from Buffalo. Diane, is this your new, is this your first time here? Remember, if it's your first time, let us know so we can welcome you to our page. Oh, we have a Sandra. Is there a Sandra that's new that I'm missing? Oh, hi. So, hello, Sandra. If you're new, welcome to Van Yesterday's Tomorrow's. I'm sorry if I missed it. Hello, Irma. How are you? I hope you're feeling better. Our fancy friend Irma hasn't been feeling well. Um, for a couple of days, and uh, I hope you have been in our prayers, Irma, and I hope you're feeling better. All right, hold on. There we go. All right, so let me just get some of this paint off my hands. Thank you, everybody. Uh, you ladies are wonderful. You know the drill. If you see somebody that's new, you welcome them, and I so appreciate you for doing that. Sometimes I got my head bent, you know, doing the project, and I miss... Um, if somebody's saying they're new. So thank you for welcoming them to our page. I appreciate it. All right, so now let's get the paper onto our project. All right, so here's our angel. And I was having a difficult time which paper to use on what. But I think um, the bigger, these, this one with the shabby chic, bigger roses, I'm gonna put that on the wings, okay? And then I'm gonna make her dress part, um, with the smaller version of it. Okay, Irma, yay! Yes, we just got another, um, we got an ornament yesterday from our friend Cynthia Thompson. So if you want to send in an ornament, please, Christmas is still, you know, around two weeks away, give or take a couple of days. I used to keep saying two weeks, so I think I have more time. <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, just send an ornament out. We would love to have, we, there was more spaces for more ornaments on that tree, guys. All right, so my favorite decoupage medium to use is, where we go, here we go. Paint Couture Decoupage Medium and Shine. Um, excuse me one second, ladies. It says Shine, but um, 
it dries in a it dries in a satin. It does not dry um, glossy because um, I don't like glossy. Oh, Sherry. Oh, Irma, you're feeling much better. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay! See, power of prayer, prayer work, guys. Prayer worked. Yay, Irma, I'm so happy you're feeling better. And we have Sandra from West Virginia. Hello, Sandra. How are you today? All right. Now, I'm not going to do the face. Um, I will put some decoupage medium on there, though, just to, to seal it in. Even though Pink Couture paints um, already have a built-in primer and a sealer, but it um, doesn't hurt. All right. So let's... There we go. All right. And now I'm just putting on my decoupage medium, and then we're going to put our paper on. Now remember, the, the trick with decoupage, um, putting down your paper, you don't want to put a thick coat. Just put a nice, th thin layer of decoupage medium on. That's all you need. Um, and it'll lay a lot nicer, and you get less bubbling and um, the whole bit. Now you know me, I don't mind wrinkles. I love my wrinkles. It gives it more character. Um, more of a vintagey look, but with rice paper, some you don't get a lot of the wrinkling. Okay, so there we go. It's on. All right, so let's see. All right, now here we go. <laughs> My worst time. Trying to find the perfect, the perfect spot. All right, so let's see. Actually, let me. Um, there's a little edge right here that just has white on it guys and i'm just gonna cut the edge off just like that all right and i think that's gonna be fine let me see i think that's gonna be oh. see now rice paper is great because it gives you a little bit of a little bit of leeway to put it down not like to, not like um, napkins where sometimes um, if you pick it up, it'll tear. Okay, so now my favorite thing to use to put it down with is these little tools. It's like a little uh, squeegee. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. Okay, so now we're just going to take our take it and... Hold on a bit. There we go. Ah, there we go. Now we're good. All right. And take it from side to side. And right, what it's doing right now, and I could see it happening, it's taking any air bubbles that I have in there out. And that's what you're looking for. So I did it side to side. And now we're gonna do it down, just like so. And then we're gonna do it up. And that will take care of any air bubbles that there is in it. There we go. All right. Hello. Thank you. Hey, Sondi. How are you? It's going to be cold in Kansas, too. Everybody, please stay warm. Winter's here. I think winter doesn't start till December 21st, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So there we go. But it's here. So save this, guys. You can use this absolutely. Um, I did a project. I did it, but it's a recorded video. Um, the other day, and I showed what you can do with your scraps. Scraps are, as my friend Mara says, scraps are golden. You keep your scraps. Now I'm looking right here. I'm seeing a tiny little bubble. So I'm just taking my little tool right here. Okay, so I'm lifting it up like that and I can see. Okay, bubbles are gone. 55 in Arizona. Oh, we're jealous, Irma. We're jealous. Thank you, Miriam. I appreciate it. I tried to look shabby chic as since I was doing shabby chic today. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to match my project. Oh my gosh. So funny. All right, so I'm just gonna dry this just real quick. Um, when your paper's dry, it's just a little easier to sand off than when it's wet. All right, so now when I'm doing um, uh, rice paper, uh, ladies, I like to do, and gentlemen, if there's any gentlemen on here, um, this is one of our, one of our fancy friends says my husband's learning all about crafting because I watch I watch your replays at night uh, while in bed and he listens with me so he's learning all about crafting so if there's any men watching <laughs> um, so and gentlemen I use a higher grit of paper and I mean a lower grade this is 120 it just makes your paper come off easier and faster and somebody says oh Penny oh uh, Colossus prayers 
prayers, Penny, for your colonoscopy. I hope everything comes out okay. <gasps> yes, my, my husband just had a colonoscopy. I don't know, does he want me to say that on camera? I don't know. But anyway, he did it. The two-day prep just like you. And he's like, oh, no. He didn't like that at all. The prep is the worst part. <laughs> but um, we, we, he was, you know, we all had him in our prayers. And everything turned out fine. And he will be back in another, what the doctor say, five years. He's got to go back. So, um, so Penny, hopefully um, prayers for you. And everything goes wonderful at your colonoscopy. And they don't have to see you again for another five years. Yeah, that prep is no no fun. All right, so this is 120 grit. Um, you could use 180. Um, I know some people say 120. Oh my God, that's really rough. But when you're using, um, when you're doing rice paper, rice paper is like a dryer sheet sometimes, and you're using a something with a high grit, like a 220. Boy, you're there sawing away forever. See? Look how fast that comes off with, 120, with um, a 120. Heck, hello, Edith. Good morning. Again, thank you. Edith this is always giving blessings, guys. Um, Deb, this is, this is by AB Studios, and it's, you can find that at, um, you can purchase it if you would like at All Paint Products. Down below, there should be a link tree. In the link tree is All Paint Products, and if you click on that link, it'll take you right there, and you look under AB Studios, AB Studios. Um, guys, just let me know. Is my if you give uh, give me some hearts or just let let me know. Yes, if my link tree is there underneath. Sometimes it shows up and sometimes it doesn't. Because if not, then I will post it when I'm done. So look, guys. <gasps> look how cute she is. Oh, I see a wrinkle. Yay! I love wrinkles. Got a little teeny bit of a wrinkle. I'm loving it. Yay! <gasps> okay. <gasps> look how pretty. So so pretty. Oh, you can see it. Okay, guys, so my link tree is right down there, and it's under all paint products. Okay, so that's done. Let's get that aside, and now let's do the, um, let's do the wings, and let's do the same way. Where did the blank come from? Mickey, um, craft deals. Um, I, but I said before, I did get it last year, so, um, I'm not sure if they have it this year. This, got it last year. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't have it this year, but... I don't know. I haven't been on their website in a while or all, you know, for this, for this season to see what they had for Christmas. Cause I had a plenty of uh, stuff from last Christmas. Hello, Francis. Good morning. Francis is from Vine and Silk Designs. If you don't know Francis's page, please go follow her. She's a sweet friend of mine. Sweet, sweet friend of mine. Thank you, Penny. So, um, Remember, thin coats of your decoupage medium, whatever you use. You can use Mod Podge. Um, just remember, Mod Podge um, does not have any UV protection. It will yellow over time. And to be truthful with you, Mod Podge is good for certain things, and I will use it. But, um... oh, they have the angel. Okay, good, Kathy. Thank you. Um, I don't... I don't like the way Mod Podge, let, um, when you're using really nice decoupage paper, I don't like the way that it um, it makes it lay. Uh, I mean, that's it, that's just me. Okay, so let me cut this off. We got this edge right here. Okay, oh, so let me just show you very quick. There we go. A, B, Studios. There we go. And um, this is their paper with the gold leafing in it. Okay. And we got some here too. Okay, so just on the very edges, guys, there's a little bit of white paper. It's like a white edge. So that's just what I'm taking off. I don't want the white edge to show. There we go. Hey, hello, Pam Hopkins, how are you? I'm telling you, this paper is literally, now I'm going to have to add a little piece right here because it doesn't, it's not wide enough, but it's gonna be okay. We can just take a little bit from another part and attach it. It's not a big deal. I just want to make sure that I'm getting, I don't want it to look crooked. There we go. Okay. That should be. 
there there we go okay and then i'm just if you see there right there there's a piece it doesn't fit all the way there's a piece of rose right here i can attach right there and um just blend it right in and it'll totally be fine yeah this paper um when i saw it on the website there and i ordered it i'm like oh that in looks interesting it doesn't do it justice i got it home and i'm like oh m g this paper is stunning with the gold leafing in it it's just amazing i've never seen anything like it before all right so you go one way you go another way then you take it and up and down so you want to go both ways you're just trying to get the bubbles out if there was wrinkling in here that's not what i'm what i would want to be taking out because i like the wrinkles okay Hello, Patsy. Hi, Diane. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Yes, yes, happy Wednesday. I hope you got your coffee. I hope you got your tea. That's what I like, my tea. Oh, guys, I tried this. A tea. If you're a tea drinker, I tried this tea the other day. Listen, if you come to my page, you know we're going to be talking more than just crafts. You never know what we're going to be talking about. <laughs> but let me tell you about this tea that I tried. And it's by Celeste. Celeste Celestial Teas, I think that's what you call them. And um, it's called, it's cinnamon. Oh, gosh, guys, it's amazing. Now, it's not something you want to drink all the time. Like, I wouldn't want to get up the first thing in the morning and have it. But it's perfect for, an, for after dinner. Oh, my God. I've been having it after dinner, I don't know, for, for the last couple of weeks now. And it's just beautiful. Oh, Francis, why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> Francis, too late. Francis. Oh, my goodness. All right, Francis. Lesson learned. I have another angel. I bought a couple of them when I, when I was on their site last year. Francis, great idea. See, you guys are amazing. Didn't even think about that. All right. My next angel, I will do that. Francis, I should have known to ask my friend Francis about that. Francis from Vine and Silk Designs. She, I call her... She's the dec decoupage queen, not, not not like the company decoupage queen, but I call her the decoupage queen because she knows everything about decoupage. She's amazing with decoupage. Go follow her. If you want to see decoupage, go follow my friend Francis. Oh, Miriam, what a great idea. What a great idea. I didn't even think to do that. Yeah, it, it's such a great tea. And I don't know if it's just for this time of year and they won't carry it anymore. So just the other day, I went and got two more boxes because I turned my husband on to it too. Now at night, after we finish our dinner, he's like, oh, you got some cinnamon tea? And he, he never drinks tea. I made him try it. And he's like, wow, this is so good. Now he, he doesn't add any milk to his. I add a little bit of milk to mine. Just a little bit, you know, just I 2%. And um, it's, it's so delicious. So, so, so delicious. There we go. There's the wings. Okay, and let's put a little part right on there. All right, Francis, thank you for the tip. I wish I seen it before, but this is not a big deal. Okay, so let's just cut it. We gotta now look at this, guys. I would not I am not throwing that away. Not throwing that away. These scraps, especially with this gold leafing, are gonna be golden. We are gonna make stuff out of that. That might even be pretty on a Christmas ball. There we go. All right, so let's just add. Hello, Cindy. How are you? Cindy's new, everybody. Welcome, Cindy. Um, it's from Craft Deals. Is where I got the angel from. Craft Deals. It's D-E-A-L with a Z. Like I said, um, I didn't know if they had it anymore, but one of our fancy friends just looked it up, and they have them. They're on there. There we go. Oh, look, you wouldn't even... You can't even know. Notice... There we go. Put it right on there. And not even, nobody's going to even see. Thank you, Francis, for letting me know about this ingenious idea of yours. That's why I call you the decoupage queen. <laughs> I have learned a lot from Francis, watching her. Hello. Thank you, everybody, for welcoming Cindy. Now, Cindy, the first time you come on here, you are newbie. Second time you show up, you are automatically... Where can you see? Oh, uh, the Christmas cards are are uh, uh, blocking it but it says fancy friend you are fancy friend as soon as you come back the second time you're automatically as fancy friend and all you newbies the same thing as soon as you come back on you're a fancy friend there we go all right all right there we go let's get this off 
and let's glue it together. Now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use two glues. I'm gonna use my, my Type Bond Quick and Thick. There we go. There, you never know, you never know. But I wish I knew a Francis' trick before. See, now what Francis is saying is that if I just cut out the middle just like that, and then I just extend it, and then I, would, I wouldn't have to have added that other part. But So, lesson learned. Oh, guys, look how cute. Look how adorable. Look at that. How adorable. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Francis. Francis, do you see your ornament on there? Francis, if you keep watching, it's spinning. Francis made an ornament um, out of a um, out of a light bulb. So it's on there, Francis. You should, you'll, you'll be seeing it shortly. All right. If I, if I see it coming up, Francis, I'll point it out. So I want everybody to see the, the light bulb that she made. <laughs> the, the beautiful, it, it, it's a, um, I think it's, it's a snowman out of a light bulb. I think that's... Thank you, Edith. Oh, it sure would be in a cute in a little girl's room if I knew of any little girls. We are at the stage of our lives here, me and my sisters and brothers, um, brother, um, that our children do not have children yet. So that we have no little ones in our family. No little ones, which um, I can't wait to have some little ones. That's what Christmas is all about. Hello, I, I, Elena, and the wood is from Craft Deals, Craft Deals. Now, this is what I use, Type Bond Quick and Thick, and you want to store it this way. This is the way you store Type Bond Quick and Thick, so it always is down. If you do it this way, especially when you get down to the bottom, you never get it up to the top again. So, there we go. All right, so let's put this on, and let me... Um, hmm. just gonna mark it here on the bottom so I know how far to go down with the glue. There we go. Oh, it would be nice if I had a pencil that was. <gasps> I put pencils in here, guys, just so I uh, I would have some, but I didn't, I did not sharpen them yet. Okay. There we go. All right, so a little pencil mark on the back. Now, I will be painting the back just for the sake of time. Guys, I didn't uh, want to bore you with painting the back, but I will paint the back. Okay. All right, so let's put the glue on. Sure, Miriam, go ahead. You can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, I love... if I can support... You know, they're, they're a family-run business, guys. And um, if I could support any... I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. Um, but I love to um, support, um, you know, family-owned businesses and all that. And Craft Deals is. So, um, absolutely. Put their link in, Miriam. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, Darla, is it really? Okay. That's a great idea. Um, everybody hear the um, the tip from Darla? That's a great idea. Thanks, Miriam. Yep. They are a family-owned company. They cut their own wood. Um, and they do have a lot of good deals, like hence the word deals. <laughs> um, get, on their, get on their email list, guys, because that's how you'll find out about their deals. Um, I mean, their, their prices are, are always good, but if you want... They're always running specials and stuff like that, 15% off, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to um, get in on their specials, um, join their email email list um, when you go on their page. Okay, so now let's um, let's put on. Oh my gosh, Kim, nobody, guys, is nobody telling me that I'm putting on this the glue on backwards? Oh my god, oh. <clears throat> I would make an excuse and say it's Monday, but it's not. <laughs> oh, Lord, I put the glue on the wrong side. Oh, Lord, if it's going to happen on a live, it's going to happen on a live. All right, good thing glue dries. Glue dries clear. Oh, Lord. Good morning, Lavender and Lace. Hello, Tammy. How are you? All right, let's just dry this and get it on the right side. Oh. <sighs> what the heck? Wrong side. Oh, my God. See guys, 
Just because you're a crafter, I'm craft around the clock. You're not perfect. Or I'm not perfect. I shouldn't say everybody. I'm not. <laughs> and we got Susie. She's new from Indiana. Hello, Susie. Welcome. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now remember, guys, tomorrow, Craft Around the Clock is having a um, stock, uh, Christmas stocking challenge. I think that's what it's called. If anybody knows the correct wording for it, let me know. And uh, it's going to be so much fun. Not tomorrow, third, uh, Friday. Not tomorrow, Friday. Um, so remember that day. If um, if you're going to be around on Friday, I'm not going to be, I'm not in that one. But we have a lot of our, you know, we're crafting friends that are in it. And, um... What is so fun is that they are getting um, boxes from other crafters and they have to open it up on air and make a stocking. Oh my God, isn't that going to be so much fun? <gasps> yeah, so I am so looking forward to seeing that. We got some goobers on here, okay. So I'm looking forward to that and that's on Friday, guys, on Craft Around the Clock. So if you're going to be around and it's going to be all day. Now, I'm not sure exact hours, but it's going to be all day. Wait, was the glue right? No. Wait, what am I doing here, guys? I, oh, that, I gotta stop talking. Okay, now let's get this right. Oh my God. The glue is this, this way. Lord, guys, the glue was right. The glue was right. Ah. Oh. Guys, oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, there, you know, we were all talking about, and we had a coaching group, and we were all talking about, like, what are some faux pas that you did, you know, on lives and stuff like that. And let will tell you something, this is going to be up there. This is going to be up there. How to take an angel and glue it. <laughs> and she didn't know how to do it. <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? There we go. Now we're good. Anyway, well, one of my biggest faux pas is that I had, I tr was trying a rolling seat and um, to sit on, I figured that it would be, there we go. All right, now she's on. Um, I figured it'd be nice to have a rolling seat and I can roll it to go grab something. And I exited, I sat down on it and the wheels went and I went <laughs> and I fell right down on top of it. Oh my gosh, right on the floor, on top of the seat. I had a shelf in back of me, that came down. Um, that was when I was down my basement, if anybody remembers that. But this one might top it. <laughs> All right. So while the glue is drying on there, guys, we're going to make a um, shabby chic bow for it. All right. So let's make a bow. Hello, Michelle. Oh, wait a minute. Did I? Hold on. And, okay. So now. I don't even know if I got her wings on. <laughs> What the heck? Boy, if you're the if you are on here for the first time, you're going, this lady is. There we go. All right, now we're all good. All right. So let me show you what we are using to um make our bows with. Okay, so I have some pretty ribbon. Get all my ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Look at all this pretty lace ribbon, guys. So let's make I'm gonna make something that's gonna be hanging down from her neck. Look at this pretty lace ribbon. Look. There we go. Yeah, I know. Roberta, I put them, I just put them the right way. I just noticed. <laughs> well, no, I wasn't sore after for because I have some rug down here, but boy, oh boy. So yeah, we were talking about what, what is the what is the funniest thing that ever happened on a live and I fell off my chair. But this might be up in the thing. <laughs> Which way do you put on the wings? Which way do they go? What the heck? All right, but listen, we're all all fancy friends here <laughs> all right so we got some pretty ribbon i love this one with the roses on there and then this one right here i thought that would be pretty this is a this is a new one that i just got from hobby lobby and isn't that pretty with the little teeny rosettes i thought that was gorgeous and um let, this is new too so let me open this one up and these are all in creams now remember if they do not come in a cream. You can make it tea stain by adding a little bit of um, archival ink. Oh, isn't that pretty? This might look pretty on the very bottom. Oh, I think I might. 
we might have to edge her skirt out, guys. So this might be pretty to edge her skirt out with. All right, but let's make the bow first. Let's make the, the ribbon um, edge first. All right, so let me get my scissors out. Here we go. And Patty, you're new to the page. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming. All right, so let me just measure how long I want this to be. And I think that's good. Okay, so now I know I gotta cut all my ribbon to this size. Just like so, how are we doing with time? We're doing great with time. Even though <laughs> the mix up. <gasps> oh, you did the same thing, Deanna? Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Now I don't feel like the Lone Ranger. <laughs> oh gosh, what the heck? I'm like, what am I doing here? You know, when I get caught up in conversation with all my friends here, um, sometimes I kind of lose track of what the heck I'm, I'm trying to do. All right, so we're just cutting this. Once you cut your first one, it's easy because then you just cut all the rest to follow. All right, and then we're gonna use. Now this comes. This is a cre This is cream, guys. This also comes in white if you want it in the white. Um, loving, love the roses, and. If you're gonna get these ribbons, um, just wait till they're, these go on sale every other week in um, Hobby Lobby. Let's see, that's gonna look, yeah, that's gonna look pretty, okay? And then we have this lace right here, so let me show you. This lace is not um, cream color. This only comes in white. This lace here, though, you find in the bridal section of the, um, Hobby Lobby, not in where the other ribbons are. And you just take your ink and you just go like this. And let me show you the difference. Okay, so you got some tea stain and then you got the white. And just take it like this and just go like that with your dabber. And then your lace now is tea stained. How quick and easy is that? Here we go. And let me just get another piece too. <gasps> Oh my God, <laughs> that was so funny. She actually stood on her mic. Oh gosh, I'm telling you, right? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and you know, we are not laughing at the person. We're, we're laughing with her, you know, it's just things happen and oh my God, yeah. I was like, whoa, whoa. I couldn't believe how I fell off that thing. And what, you know, was, and what was worse is I had a little, I had a little like um, uh, shelving behind me and it had all my tubes of transfers on it. So this, so when I went back, the shelf sort of hit me, but not hard, but all the tubings of the, um, the transfers fell boom, 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 all over me. Oh my God, that was, I was like, what the heck? Oh Lord. Oh, you have that one now in Hobby Lobby? Yeah, oh, I love it in the cream, love it in the cream. So there we have all, let's see, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, then I like to also add some crinkle ribbon in there. And I think, okay guys, you tell me. I have three colors of the crinkle ribbon. I, this is called, believe it or not, it's called vintage. I'm not sure what this is called. And then this is called sandstone. Okay, so I want to add some right here to our ribbons. But I wanted to add maybe a little color. Now, I don't know about the, you guys let me know. Green, oh, the vintage, that pink might be pretty. Or the sandstone, no. I think the sandstone's too dark, but I'm thinking this color vintage, guys, just to give it a little pop of color. What do you think? Hello, Sherry Patterson, how are you? Yes, I forgot to put my mic on too. My mic is down there charging. <laughs> oh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. So I think, what do you think guys? Adding a little bit of this color to it? I think so, right? The vintage, right? So um, this is another company. I have no affili affiliation with her guys, but um, she's on Etsy. She's a small business, you know, and if I can support somebody else's small bu business, it's called My Scrap Cabin Shop, right? And she sells all seamed crinkle ribbon in, I can't even tell you how many colors she has because it's crazy how many colors she has. Um, so if you wanna go see her, she's on Etsy. And if you could just do me a favor 
And then I think you can leave a comment if you do. If you can, I think you can. Could you just let her know that I sent you, Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's? Because um, I told her I would hopefully be sending some of my fancy friends to her. So if you do purchase from her, and they're not expensive. I think they're like $2.50 for one. And then if you, she has some bundle sets, which you can, um, I think they end up being $2 if you get like a bundle of, a, of, of different ones. So, hello, Adori. Hello. I went to Etsy and ordered the ruffles. Oh, you did, Jeannie. Oh, I'm so glad. Did you get it from um, Scrap Cabin Shop? I hope so. Um, I just love to support other people's small businesses. All right, so let's get this on there while we're doing it. So before we run out of time, and if not, I will post a picture. But let me see if it's sticking. There we go. Guys, look. <gasps> Isn't she pretty? And we got the angel wings on the right way. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just crazy. This is right here. You want to screenshot it? It's called My Scrap Cabin Shop. My Scrap Cabin Shop. And please, um, just uh, let her know that I sent you. I would so appreciate it. All right. There we go. All right. So, <gasps> oh, my goodness. I didn't think I'd have a, uh, a day with angel wings today, but I did. <gasps> oh, my God. Listen, if you can't laugh. Right, ladies? If you can't laugh. All right. So, now I'm just putting them all on top of each other. There we go. And I will take a picture of this, guys, when I'm done um, later on tonight. Take a picture of it and put it out there for you so you can see it all done. It'll probably also be on the um, Craft Around the Clock page, of course. All right, so there we go. <gasps> Look how pretty they all are. Okay, so now I just take this one right here. This pretty, and this one is called Vintage, guys, this pink. It's old vintage it's just so pretty and we're just going to tie it in a knot yes we are getting snow here not even just snow edith which is um it's we're getting we're going to be getting a lot of ice and um that's what they're saying up here where i live um, i live in the uppermost northern part of new jersey and we're getting a lot of ice um let me get that in the middle a little bit better ah there we go come on all right, there we go. Yeah, that'll be pretty, okay. There we go, and let me just tie it, there we go. Now we're gonna tie it in a knot. I need another, I need another hand. <gasps> oh, ladies. I hope the rest of my day's okay. <laughs> I need to go food shopping after this. I'm like one of those ladies. We're never going to get out of the house. Um, no, but I just need some stuff. My husband's like, we need this and we need that. I'm like, I know. I'm going to go to the food store today. All right. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And then I thought, what would be pretty, guys? Look what I purchased from. <gasps> Look how pretty I got this from. Um... Totally dazzled, and look, it's a, it's a key. Isn't that so pretty? And I thought the key would look pretty, hanging from one of these uh, ribbons. So let's let's put the key on there and let's hang the key too. So the key would look pretty hanging from there. Okay, let's get the he now. They have a small hook, but boy, that tiny. I don't think I'd ever get that ribbon in there. So we're just going to put it on with a knot. All right, let's get it on with a knot. All right. All right. Okay, easier said than done. My fingers are so slippery. Nebraska is closed due to snow now? Whoa. I know. Um, we have snow here already, so I'm hoping that it stays till Christmas. Um, it's real pretty when you have snow on Christmas Day. And uh, so it's still sticking here. But it's funny, if you go 10 minutes... Um, Away from us here, we're, we're up, we're in a little higher, higher elevation where I live. Go 10 minutes away and the snow is gone from there. So there we go. Okay, so now we got the key on there. And look how pretty the key looks on there. Gorgeous. All right, so we're going to do more time. We've got a couple more seconds. All right, guys, so if you are um, free today, if you want to go see the next um, 
the next presenter. While I finish this up, I didn't get to finish it. Um, let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some distressed ink. I'm going to rub it on all the, the frame of the outside of this angel. I'm going to be adding, I don't want to put the bow on until I finish distressing it and adding the, the ribbon and the bow. But um, I think she came out adorable. So there we go, guys. Sorry I didn't get to finish her. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, all of you. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, please remember to keep all of our fancy friends in your prayers. God knows who needs them. And um, I will probably maybe be back on later on tonight. I'll show you the finished product um, that I finished here. But I'm going to be edging it out so it looks old. You've seen me do this before um, with, the, with my dauber and just going, just vintage it up, if that's a word. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Mwah, mama. Blessings to you and have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. Bye.